Hello students. Today we are going to learn how to use the distributive property to multiply binomials. So far we've used the distributive property to multiply a monomial by a polynomial. Today we're going to work with binomials. What is a binomial? Let's review. A binomial is the sum or difference of two monomials. Okay, some meaning addition between two monomials, 2x plus 3. 2x and 3 are both monomials. Or the difference of two monomials, something like x minus 4. The fact that there are only two terms, 2x and 3, makes it a binomial. Okay, so today we're talking about multiplying two binomials. And it turns out that we can use the distributive property to do that. So let's take those two binomials, 2x plus 3, and multiply it by the binomial x plus 4. In order to do that, we have to take each of the terms in the first binomial, the 2x and the 3, and multiply them by the quantity of x plus 4 separately. So first, we take 2x and we multiply it by x, by x minus 4. And then whatever we get, we're going to combine with, we take 3, the second part of the first binomial, and we multiply it by the second binomial. So 3 times the quantity x minus 4. Okay, now let's write all that out. So it's got to be 2x times x, and 2x times a negative 4. 2x times x, and that's going to be combined with 2x times a negative 4. So let's work this out first. 2x times x, these are both x to the first power. It's going to be 2x squared. And now we're going to combine that with 2x times a negative 4. Well, all we can do is multiply the coefficient here, 2 times a negative 4, and we get a negative 8x. And technically, that's being added to the 2x square, but we know that adding a negative is the same thing as subtracting, so why confuse it by putting the plus sign in there? Let's just keep it this way for now. All of this is going to be combined with 3 times x, and then 3 times the second term, which is a negative 4. So 3 times x is 3x. Three, 3 times a negative 4 is a negative 12. And again, it's all being combined. I could put plus a negative 12, but it's the same thing as minus 12. So now we look at what we have here. We have four terms. 2x squared minus 8x plus 3x minus 12. And we ask ourselves, are there any like terms here that we can combine? If you said yes, you're correct. 8x, negative 8x, is a like term with a positive 3x. If we combine them, we're going to get a sum of negative 8 plus 3x, which is a negative 5x. Does 2x squared have anything to combine with? No. So we just write 2x squared and minus 5x and there's nothing to combine with the negative 12, so we just write negative 12. So the trinomial, the quadratic trinomial, 2x squared minus 5x minus 12, is the product of the two binomials, 2x plus 3 and x minus 4, that we multiplied in the beginning. Let's let you try one on this page. Multiply the two binomials, x minus 6, times 4x plus 3. Pause the video and try to work that out according to the procedure we did in the last example. Okay, hopefully you wrote out your work in this way where we take the first binomial and we separate the two terms and we multiply the first term x and I have it here in red gets multiplied by the 4x and the positive 3. And the negative 6, the second part of the first binomial, also gets multiplied by the 4x and the positive 3. 
hopefully when you did that, you came up with x times 4x is 4x squared. x times a positive 3 is a plus 3x. Now I'm skipping the step before where I actually showed each part being multiplied because I think we're at the point where we can do this in our head. Okay, so all that's going to be added to a negative 6 times a positive 4x, which is going to be a negative 24x, and a negative 6 times a positive 3, which is a negative 18. Now, again, we're going to look and see, hey, can I combine any like terms? Turns out we have a positive 3x and a negative 24x. Okay, nothing is the same as 4x squared or negative 18. So let's write those 4x squared doesn't have anything combined with and let's combine negative 24 and positive 3 to make a total of a negative 21x minus 18 and that's your answer. Okay you're going to be relieved to find out that the distributive property is not the only way to do it. A way that a lot of students like to do this is known as the box method. In the box method, we think of it's almost like an area model. Okay, We make a box, and you'll learn to do this, but I've made the first one for you. The quarter box is just telling us that we are multiplying, so we can put the multiplication sign there. And don't get that mixed up with x. We're going to put the terms for the first binomial in the column. So the first term is 2x and the second term is 3. Since it's a plus 3, we don't have to put plus 3. We're going to put the terms for the second binomial in, along the top. So the first term is, and I'm going to put it in a different color so you don't confuse it with the multiplication sign, x and the second term is negative 4. I'm going to say this is multiplied. That's what this means. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to multiply each term in a row by the term in each column. So um, then we're, we're going to put the answer below it. So for instance, 2x times x is going to go in this box. So 2x times x is 2x squared, and that goes right here. And then we need to multiply the 2x times the minus 4. 2x times a negative 4 is a negative 8x. We're going to do the same thing with the 3. 3 times x is 3x. 3 times a negative 4 is a negative 12. What we are doing is the same thing we did in the distributive property way, except it's laid out nicer and it helps us to organize. Now the cool part about this is when you look in this table, you'll find out that the uh, terms that are alike are diagonally from each other. So 3x and negative 8x are like terms. The terms that are not, don't have any uh, um, other like terms are the first block and the bottom right block. So we know that we can go ahead and write the terms that we're not going to combine. And then just combine the like terms, 3x and negative 8x, and it's a negative 5x, and minus 12. That's known as the box method. Let's let you try one. Use the box method to multiply x plus 2 and x minus 10. I'll help you set it up. This is the easy way to set it up without using a table. Take your first binomial, put it here, and then make a line, a straighter line than I did. Take your second binomial and put it here and make a line like that. And it's always good to, whatever sign is in front of it, put it with the number so you don't get mixed up. Now you're going to multiply. Give it a shot. Pause the video. Okay, hopefully you were able to fill in some of these boxes by multiplying x times x is x squared. x times a negative 10 is a negative 
x. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times a negative 10 is a negative 20. So here we have our box and we can look for our like terms and they are as I said diagonally from each other. We can combine first write down the ones that are not alike in a different color. Hopefully you're ahead of me. x squared and then combine 10x, negative 10x and 2x and get a negative 8x and write a negative 20. And this is the answer in simplest form to x squared times x minus 10. And that's something to note and if I were you I'd go back to this page. Um, most of the time when we multiply two binomials we get a trinomial. Not all the time, but most of the time. And that's what we've seen. Here's our first trinomial. Here's our second trinomial. Our third. And our fourth. Okay, write down questions and bring them to the teacher station. Good luck.